devastating way. Yeah, the three things, the water, the water table, even the air. The more you learn about it, the more horrific it becomes. Yeah. So I'm prepared to you know, do as much as I can to yeah. protest against it. One of the things that really um, concerns me is this is a, a very small catchment, small in a sense. It's, it's about 900 hectares of catchment. In our property is a wetland that runs for 700 metres into the Coldstream River. So this, the whole of this catchment runs into our place and through our wetland. And we've, we've for the past five years been re rehabilitating that wetland and it's really come into its own. It's full of lush um, reeds and rushes, Eleocaris, Baumia, all that. Lots of birds coming back. Um, I've got kingfishers, brogas, all that is under threat. And have you ever done protesting before? No, just inside my own heart. I've never got out and done it. To support the community, I'm a local, and to hopefully stop desecrating our land here. This is the head of the Coldstream River, it's a particularly important area, and the politicians I discovered didn't even know that. Jingle bells, sing sang cells, and the gas go away. Oh, what fun it is to live in a gas free world today. researchers went to the gas field with some air monitoring equipment they found that the methane levels in the atmosphere there were six times uh, the background level that was in the air that's making people sick in Tara people are getting sick methane is 21 times as powerful as carbon dioxide as a greenhouse gas so every every ton of methane that we pump into the atmosphere causes 21 more times global warming 21 times more global warming than a ton of carbon dioxide Kind of like skin cancer. It might it might look small on the on the on the surface, but underneath there's there's you know untold damage being done over a vast area. The climate change impacts of this industry could potentially be devastating. The people who started who organised this blockade, they've never done anything like this before. Mm. You know the people, and this isn't this isn't the only community where this has happened. All around New South Wales and Queensland, there are communities who have never considered themselves a greenie, never considered themselves protesters, who are now standing in front of trucks and, you know, locking themselves to tractors to try and keep drill rigs out of their, their, their community. Frankly, there is, there is a, an uprising going on around, around New South Wales, um, and people, people are not going to take this.